Hello people of YouTube and welcome to another Wednesday Pickups. Uh, this is for the week of July 5th, 2017, day after uh, 4th of July, Independence Day. Um, hope everybody had a good holiday and hope everybody was able to get their books. There's a little bit of an issue at the local shop that I go to. I was able to pick up pretty much everything I was looking for, but since, you know, I wasn't able to go in early in the morning and get my books like I usually do because they didn't come until, you know, around 5 and there was quite a few missing also. So I'm just missing a couple of things. Uh, I think Claudia and Rex or Claudio and Rex uh, I was going to pick up um, and I can't remember anything else. But there was a couple of things I remember I was like, oh, I was going to pick that up, but it's not here. Um, they didn't have the Batman B cover. Um, you know, the Poison Ivy cover, I was going to grab that, but I, I didn't see that either. I just saw the Joker one with the puzzle pieces, so I didn't grab that. Um, so anyways, I'll just get into the books that I did grab. And I still haven't received my books from last week from Midtown, so don't know what's up with that either. But um, stuff happens. So From uh, Action Lab, I picked up the... I, I don't know if this is a reprint of Zombie Tramp number one. Um... Okay, it's Zombie Tramp number one Origins Collector Edition. Uh, grabbed that as a jumping on point because I have not read any of this series. I'm sure it's terrible, but you know, check it out anyway. Um, got a copy of Unholy Grail number one. Sounded like a kind of interesting story. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I don't know which cover that is. I don't think it's the A cover, but I'm not too sure. I saw some different ones floating around with the um with the with the guy with the mask, you know, as like the focal point. So this is not that. So I don't know which cover this is. Okay, so I picked up the second issue of The Unsound, not because I liked the first Unsound, but <coughs> excuse me. Uh just because I was interested to see where they would go from there. So that's two Colin Bun, two two Colin Buns in a row, um, but yeah, I'm interested to see where this goes. Not because I liked it, just interested to see where it goes. Could be interesting. Um, <clears throat> from IDW, I got Diablo House. It sounded interesting. It's like a horror anthology or something. Um, I'm interested to read it. See how it is. Looks odd. It's like some horror stuff this week going on. So. Uh, X-Men Gold 7 there. Some pretty good c cover art. Uh, I mean, interesting cover art at least. Let's see how that goes. Uh, Alright, forgive me for this one. I only picked this up, I honestly only picked this up to stick in a long box and hope that one day somebody wants to pay $20 for it. Um, I will not read this. I don't buy into this. This is terrible. But I did get a copy of Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe again. So stupid. I, I don't like Deadpool. Whatever. I also am not going to read this, probably. It looks really dumb. It's a, it's a Spider-Man one-shot with Crime Master. Somebody says it's like a classic foe of Spider-Man. I don't even know who Crime Master is. Maybe I'm not a big enough fan to know who that is, but I have no idea who Crime Master is. Um, and then, I guess, also in there is like a reprint of uh, Amazing Spider-Man number two. So I probably won't read this. But uh, there's a couple of different covers for this one. This one looked the best to me, so I grabbed that one. Um, I will read this, however. Extremity, number five. It's been a good, crazy, gory, bloody series. This is cool. You should check this out if you haven't. Very interesting, very different. Um, I don't usually really read this either, but I heard that I should pick up a copy of it this week, so got a copy of The Walking Dead. There's like a new story arc. Um, a lot of people were saying like maybe it'll get incorporated into the show or something. I don't know, I just grabbed it. Have, you know, probably like a random 20 or so issues of The Walking Dead that I just pick up here and there. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh... Sacred Creatures number one I picked up. I think this is the A cover. 
normal cover or whatever. Uh, I've heard some interesting stuff about this, so we'll see how that is. Also decided to uh, stay with Baby Teeth for a second issue and see how that goes. Pretty interesting also. We said lots of horror stuff this month, week. Okay, and those are all the new ones I picked up. Uh, I, I grabbed this off the wall just because I realized I didn't have a copy of it when I, I saw it up there and I was like, wait a second. It's a nice Adam Hughes cover and, and I don't have a copy of it. So uh, so I picked one up, uh, Batgirl number one. New 52 Batgirl number one. Um, nice cover art. Pretty cool. Um, and then just a couple of, like I got this in off eBay, I don't know, a couple of days ago. The Spawn one director's cut gold foil edition. Um, I don't know. I, I didn't have to pay that much for it. So it was just a, like a dollar over cover price. I really like the way it looks. It's a nice uh, cover swipe of Ultimate Spider-Man 1. Um, looks cool to me. I'll hang on to it for a while and see if it goes up. If not, I don't mind keeping it in my personal collection. And then I had a friend give me this. Uh, you know, I collect Spider Gwen, um, and a while ago he gave me the pink Phantom variant. So now he gave me the black and white. So that's really cool. I love the way that looks. Looks awesome. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, there was some good stuff this week. I'm excited to read some. See what I'm gonna review. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys picked up this week. If you got all, of, if your local shop got all your stuff in, um, if you have any opinions on any of the stuff I got or anything like that, let me know. Um, and I'll see you guys for the review.